lot of people have been in scary situations like car accidents or breaking bones or going to the hospital for whatever ever reason. But I and I've been in a few scary situations myself, but not as scary as the one I'm about ready to tell you. And um, my lesson is just to never, if you're in the car or if you're driving, just to never be on your phone or always be paying attention, never on the radio or anything, and make sure that your full attention is on the road and to always live your life to the fullest and live every day to the fullest because you could die. Um, so I was, um, I go to my dad's when I was in fifth grade from five to eight every night on Mondays, Wednesdays, and every other weekend I go there. And so I couldn't drive yet because I was in fifth grade. And my sister couldn't drive yet because she didn't have her license yet because she was only a freshman in high school. And my little sister doesn't go there, obviously. But <laughs> and so we were in there, and it was 8 o'clock, and my mom came and picked us up. It was just a, I think it was just a spring day, just a regular day. and. Um, we were driving home, and we did the same thing as usual as we did every day, but I was fighting with my sister in the car, my older sister, because I didn't want to put on my seatbelt. And I told her that seatbelts don't matter and that they're stupid and whatever, and my mom yelled at me and was like, make sure you put on your seatbelt. And so we were coming up to where you turn right to go to my <coughs> house on that gravel road, and... I just put on my seatbelt. I was like, fine, I'll just put it on. And so we went on the gravel road and we just turned the corner and this girl was speeding. I don't remember how fast she was going. I think it was 50 or 60, which is pretty fast on that road, right? And, um, and so she, she ran into us and I just put my seatbelt on. So thank goodness I had my seatbelt on. But... We later found out that she was, I think she was texting somebody or she was, I don't know, she was on the phone or something and that's the reason that she hit us and that's the reason that we got hurt and there was a lot of damage to our car and her car was totally smashed because it was a lot smaller than our car was and um, so afterwards we talked to the officer and everything and he said that she hardly even braked before she got there because she wasn't even paying attention. But we also we talked to the lady and she said that her ins she didn't have insurance or something so she couldn't pay for it herself so we ended up I don't know she didn't have to pay for anything though and but she got in a lot of trouble I guess because she wasn't supposed to be out that night anyway from her parents anyway the lesson is to never be on your phone and always take your life for granted every day.